Hey folks, how you doing and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leonard and you're watching The Product Reviewer. Now today we got the Samsung Fit 2 and it's the cheapest fitness tracker that Samsung ever made and it only costs you $45. And even though it is so cheap, it still has quite some features to offer. So like always, we will split this video up in a couple of parts. So we will talk about the heart rate sensor, some sport modes, take a look inside and talk about some technical details and a lot more. So grab a seat, something to drink and enjoy the video. Now the heart of every fitness tracker or smartwatch is the heart rate sensor. Now I've been testing the Fit2 for about two weeks now and I compared it to my Polar chest band and I've been doing a bunch of workouts. Now on average the average heart rate was a little bit lower than on the Polar chest band. Also the burn calories are also a bit lower than on the Polar chest band. Now the interesting part is when you look at my graph of the Polar chest band you really can see those big dips, those big highs and ups. That's where you really can see when I had breaks in between my sets. And the Fit2 was kind of like smoothing that out a little bit to make it a more even graph. Now overall the heart rate tracker of the Fit2 isn't the best, but considering the price and that I compared it to an actual chest band, it wasn't doing too bad either, since it's doing a pretty good job during the day on tracking my heart rate. So the sport modes go hand in hand with the heart rate tracker, so let's check them out. With the Fit2 you get to choose between roughly 100 sport modes but you can only have 10 of them at all times on your fitness tracker. Of course, you can always swap them out on the Samsung Health app and put in one of your other workouts. The next thing you gotta know is that you cannot see any results on the fitness tracker itself. For that, you have to open up the app on your smartphone and over there you have an overview about all of your past workouts and further details regarding your heart rate, pace, time and whatever. By the way, all of your stats are being tracked on the Samsung Health app as well so that also includes your sleep tracker, your heart rate, your stress and a few more. I mean, on the watch itself you have something like a tracker, but it's very basic. So the Fit2 has a few activity tracking features. So next to the sport modes, you also have a sleep and stress tracker and also a breathing exercise. Now, the stress tracker is a quick one. So basically, you just slap the bad boy on your wrist and press measure. That takes about 20 seconds and then raises your stress level from high to low as a graph on your health app. Red zones means you're brutally stressed and green ones means you're deeply relaxed. Now over to the sleep tracker and this one actually fascinates me. This one is so accurate when it comes to when I went to bed and woke up and also gives you a very detailed analysis. If you go on learn more, you get a very detailed analysis on your total sleep time, sleep cycle, physical and mental recovery, movement and awakenings and in addition it compares it to other people in the same age and gives you an overall sleep score. By the way, you can also look up your sleep scores from the past week or month. For last, you also have breathing exercises, which basically is a one minute guided session for relaxation. Another essential feature of the fitness tracker is the battery life. So the battery of the Fit2 will last for about 14 days with a constant heart rate monitoring. But it even will go up to 21 days if you turn the heart rate measurements to only like every 10 minutes or 30 minutes and you can set it up in the Samsung Health app. I would recommend to leave the heart rate monitoring on since otherwise you won't get any high heart rate alerts and we actually buy fitness trackers to track stuff like that. With the Samsung Fit2 you are buying a fitness tracker which is water resistant up to 5 ATM in its IP68. Through the 1.1 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 126 by 294 pixel you can access the quick settings easily and read all of your notifications right on the band itself. The fitness tracker has a super easy way of fastening your rubber band, where you kind of clip the band and then tuck it under. Hard to explain, but the video will do the trick. Next is that this fitness tracker has 32 megabytes of memory and 2 megabytes of RAM. So in other words, you cannot download any apps with this one. Now, even though it only has 2 megabytes of RAM, it is still pretty responsive. Now, as for last, the fitness tracker has Bluetooth 5.1 and is run by the free RTOS operating system up to your notifications, messages and calls. So if you swipe right, you get to see all of your latest notifications like Instagram, WhatsApp, Snapchat, emails and even more. And if you give it a quick tap, it opens up and you can read it. On messages like WhatsApp, you can even make a quick reply. At first, you can only get some basic replies like OK, yes please, but you can add some more in the Samsung Wear app. With the Fit2, you can even receive calls but it's more like a vibrating reminder that you should go and pick up your phone since you can only reject calls on this fitness tracker. Now we talked about the main features this fitness tracker has to offer, but besides them, there are a few more worth mentioning. So at first, the music player. 
So it's not Spotify, Deezer or whatever. It is just a basic music player with which you can play pause, go back a track, skip a track and adjust the volume. Now next up, the watch faces. Now you cannot change them on the tracker itself, but in the something wear app. Right here you have an extra section just for all of the watch faces. You have different colors, different designs and different tracking features on the watch face to choose from. But there is a big but. You cannot customize or create your own watch face, so you have to stick to one of those preset watch faces. This watch also has a weather app, hand watch feature, timer and calendar, just to complete the list. So folks, with that being said, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It only takes two clicks, it's for free and helps me out a lot. So, see you next time. Peace.